Hello, my friends. I'm the Killmaster Gaming, back with another Redstone tutorial. And today I will be showing you how to make a 12 lever uh, secret door. Well, not really a secret door, but uh, this lever, or this is a 12 lever combination lock. And the only way to open it is by flipping all the levers. Now, I don't suggest this as a, as uh, an entrance to a base on account of the fact that you cannot close it from the inside unless you were to theoretically remove that tort. Uh, that's cool. Uh, never mind. Uh, and so today I will be showing you how to make it. If you're going to do it in survival, I don't know exactly how many resources it'll take, but first what you're going to want to do is get uh, two colors of wool and a block or er, and blocks of your choice. For this I'm going to be going with purple and cyan. And for my blocks, just because I feel extravagant, I'm going to use the block of diamond. Now you're going to want to build up five blocks. So that's one, two, three, four, five. This is entirely optional. I'm building this on the surface for convenience sake. Then you're going to want to place your block of choice and then uh, build across seven. So you have eight total. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you build up three on either side and move across so you have a box. Then you're going to want to build over three, down two, then you get wood or something, build across like that, then you get your doors and you place them there. Then you're going to get your wool and you build two platforms like this. Now cyan wool means that you do not need to change the redstone once it's been set. Don't do that. I think that's it. Is this how I have it set up? Yeah. Okay. So now that little platform is done. Damn, I really should have paid attention. Now I forget how everything is set up. And then you're going to want to come up here and fill in this interior. These 12 blocks in the middle will be where your levers are. So actually, I'm going to change this to something else for convenience sake. I think that's it. Let's see over here. And then you're going to want to take... Uh, another color of wool, everything purple, you will need to mess with in order to change the password. So redstone placed on purple wool, uh, you will have to change. Well, that's only if you want to change your code. So... If you don't want to, then this is perfect. No, wait, I got this wrong. So now it should look something like this. Then you're going to want to build out one, then across, like this, so you have this little platform. Nope, I don't do that. Then you should build across one like this. So you should have that little area. Now, for the redstone. Wait, is that it? 
yep, now for the redstone. You're going to want to get torches, repeaters, redstone dust, and of course, levers. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place your levers. should look something like this. And then you're going to want to flick them to set your code. Just for simplicity's sake, this is going to be my code. And then you place your torches on the back. Everywhere there is a lever that has been flicked, it will power off. And then you're going to want to take your repeaters, and they should look something like that. And you're going to want to look for your powered ones. And then you put a line of redstone across here, only with redstone where the uh, torches are off. You're going to want to do the same down here, uh, but with redstone, uh, where the- wait, what? I don't remember. Except there's a torch up here where they're lit. No, wait. Where they're not lit. So, no, wait. Where they're lit. Okay. So where the torches are lit, you're going to want to place one here. Yep, that's it. And for one, and for the ones that are not lit, you're gonna want to set your redstone there, and of course, bring it across with a redstone torch right there. Then you're gonna want to place the dust, and then two right here, with another torch right there, dust down here, two repeaters. And then on the back of this wool, place your torches. And then you should see that the doors open with your code. And now you're going to want to come up here with this. I broke something. What broke? More importantly, how do I fix it? Ooh, now I remember. Now you're going to want a repeater set into this block, with redstone dust coming down. And so that way, if one of the levers is flicked, you get that as a result. Then in the gaps up here, yeah. Uh, in the gaps up here, you're going to want to place repeaters where there is a gap. And is that right? Yeah, that's right. So it should look something like this if this is your code. And so if I were to flick one of these levers... Why is that not working? What am I missing? Okay, I messed something up. Oh, whoops. I need to build this one block over. Oh. No, wait, yeah, that goes there. Perfect. And so now, if you flick a lever, it'll be done. Now, again, I do not suggest this being as a entrance to a base, more like a vault, um, because there's only one way to close it from the inside, and that's by removing that torch. I mean, if you're in survival, yeah, never mind. You can collect it easily. This has been a redstone tutorial. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm going to reset all my torches. And now I will show you how to change your password, even though I kind of told you how to set it in the first place. What you're going to want to do is clear this top row. Then you clear 
torches. And then you come over here where your things are set. And then you set yourself a new password. So I'm going to actually set these two and these two. So now if I come over here, see that none of the outer ones are selected. And I'm going to want a redstone torch. And now I've immediately forgotten how to do this. <laughs> and of course you get your repeaters. Okay. There's a gap, and then a torch, and then a torch. Then you come down here and do the same thing. So, it should be the opposite, right? Yeah. No. Right, because I had it set to the same on both. Then you get your torches and you put them there. And of course, everything else is the same. Now you see if I change one of these levers. Okay, I messed something up. Where did I mess up? Did I get the code right? Well, that's a mystery. Oh, because this is powered. So if I... Oh. What? Well, and that is the 12 lever combination lock door. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this redstone tutorial. Uh, next, I will be going over a 2x2 two two flush piston door. So I've done 1x2, but uh, next I will be doing a 2x2. I two two. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time when I do that door.